Now the next part is a bushing. If you define the bushing, a bushing is an insulated device that allows an electrical conductor to pass safely through a grounded conducting barrier, such as the case of transformer or the circuit breaker. And it is made up of, generally it is made up of porcelain. Now this is a basic construction of a bushing. We know bushing, where it is used on a transformer tank on a high voltage side, that bushings are connected in between live conductor and transformer tank. Now this should be immersed in a transformer tank, and this is the outermost part, which is in, which is connected to the high voltage side. Now this is the outdoor insulators. Number of insulator strings is there. Okay. Now this is the active part. This is the mounting flange, which is connected. This is the ground seal, and it is made up of cast epoxy resin insulator. Now if you observe here, here also insulation is provided. And here also insulation is provided. Insulation in between them, two conductors. These are the two conductors. Conductor one, which is connected to the live wire. And this is the second conductor, which is connected to the winding. Okay. Now you can easily observe here, in between two conductors, if there is a dielectric medium, what is going to be build up? Capacitance. So basically, a bushing is a device through which we are going to connect the transformer terminals, high voltage terminal through the bushings and bushing should have a very, very high insulations. Okay. Now, if you observe, as I told you, a 35% of failure of Transformer should be because of what? Failure of bushings. Why bushings are going to be failure? Because of dielectric degrade of insulation material. Why there is a dielectric degrade of insulation material? We will see. Okay. Dielectric degrade of insulation material means the value of dielectric strength of a transformer bushing or porcelain is going to be decreases. Why it is going to be decreases? Because of change in temperature. Why change in temperatures occur? Because of a live conductor is connected to the bushings and bushing carry current. Inside the bushing, there is a live conductor and that conductor carry current always. So when there is a current carrying conductor, we know already the phenomena that is the heat is going to be produced. And because of that produced heat, it will affect the aging on a insulation or degradation of the insulation oil. If the bushing oil fails on a transformer oil tank side, then heavy sparking is there, arcing is there on a transformer, on a transformer tank. On the tank side, if bushing is failed, the oil is going to be leak. And because of leakage of oil, there may be the chances of fire hazards. Okay. So the transformer bushing is very important devices for monitoring and testing purpose. And as I told you, 35% of fault of failure of a transformer is due to the bushing. So that must be take care while installing the bushing, a continuous monitoring and testing should be there. Okay. In case of bushing. Now, what are the different tests we are going to be conduct on bushing? We will see. Now, as I told you, because of bushing, there is a development of capacitance, C1. C2 capacitance is going to be developed like this. This is the total conductor in between them. There is a capacitance is going to be produced C1, C2, C3, C4, like that. The capacitance is going to be developed because this one is the total, uh, what we can say, rod, conductor rod, which is present. And uh, among that, around that, we are going to be placed the insulation layer. So different insulation layer form a capacitance. And this capacitance is going to be connected in a series manner. And we know series capacitance is nothing but the combination of parallel resistors, like one by C1 plus one by C2 plus one by C3. Okay. Now bushings are, when, where the bushings are going to be used, uh, are used for 23 kV to 456 kV. Sometime it is more than that we are going to be used the bushings. This is the bushing insulation stream. Now, if you observe, 
we are going to concentrate on a capacitance which is developed in a bushing. You may have the questions that uh, you are teaching bushing and you are concentrating in the capacitance because, uh, dear student, capacitance will play a very important role while studying the bushing. What is the equivalent capacitance for a series combination? Here, C equivalent is equal to 1 by C1, 1 by C2 plus 1 by C4. Now, what will happen if one or more two insulation layer of bushing are damaged? The capacitance of the layer will be what? Zero. So let us consider all the capacitance are equal, that is two farad, so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, plus 1 by 2 what we are getting here? 0.5 farad, isn't it? 1 by 2. So C equivalent is equal to 0.5 farad. Now what will happen? Let us consider, let us take one example. If C1 is shorted, only C2 and C3 and C4 will be present in a circuit. Now C1 will vanish. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is nothing but 1 by 5. Now 1 upon 1 by 5, we are getting what? 0. 0.66. Previously, in a healthy condition, what is the capacitance? 0. 0.5. In an unhealthy condition, when the one of the disk is damaged, what is the capacitance? Increase the one. This will indicate it what? This will indicate the fault. If you can measure the change in capacitance, we can determine the fault in the insulation layer. From this test terminal, we can do the suitable measurement to determine the fault. Are you getting? So measurement of capacitance could able to determine whether the fault is occur in a bushing or not. This is the one of the method by which we can monitor the bushing. Okay, in a second way, we are having the different test. Different test uh, should be conducted on a bushings. 